So I've been thinking about the two biggest what-ifs in NBA history. And both of them, for me at least, my two biggest what-ifs, involve the exact same player. First, we'll start in late 2011, when Chris Paul was to be sent to the Los Angeles Lakers to play alongside the late, great Kobe Bryant, five-time NBA champion, one MVP, multiple All-NBA selections, and I can just keep going down the list of the incredible things Bryant has done in his career. But the trade was vetoed by then also late commissioner David Stern, and the trade wasn't able to go through. Now for me, I think the trade should have been able to go through because the Lakers were getting rid of so much to get Chris Paul that they were losing a lot of their big guys, which Kobe has been known to play very good with great big guys. And so it it created a void for me in like a big what if because if Chris Paul did get to play with Kobe, he could have played alongside probably the greatest player he's ever played with. And along with that, Chris Paul could have gotten Kobe his sixth ring, put him higher up on the top ten, and Chris Paul could have really asserted himself into a top five point guard conversation, which I still consider him in that conversation, but it would certainly elevate him into that because him and Kobe may win a couple titles together. It might not just be one, but that would just be such a fun backcourt to see. Maybe the greatest backcourt of all time if Kobe could have kept his health. Chris Paul and Kobe would have just been such a such a fun duo to watch in a backcourt and I certainly was looking forward to it and along with that you had the big three in Miami which from a totality standpoint they were much much more talented than that Lakers squad would have been with just Chris Paul and Kobe with a bunch of role players you had Chris Bosh, LeBron, Andy Wade already more talented than just those two together but then you also get into the Mike Millers of the world, Ray Allen coming in late. You know, Mario Chalmers, Norris Cole, Birdman, they all played a big role on that team. So that's another reason why I don't think the trade should have been vetoed. Now for my second, and this one hurts me a lot more, it also comes from Chris Paul. In the closing seconds of Game 5 of the... 2018 Western Conference Finals, I believe. I believe it was 2018. 2018 Western Conference Finals. Chris Paul pulls his hamstring in the closing second, shooting a floater at the end of the game. They win game five, go up three to two. Then Chris Paul can't play in the next game six and seven. They lose game six and seven after being up by double digits in both of the games because the Rockets had a six-man rotation at that point with Chris Paul out, and they had to insert Ryan Anderson just to give some of the players rest. It was, it was the most heartbreaking thing for me to watch Chris Paul get hurt because you know how bad he wants it because he plays so hard. He's got such a high basketball IQ. He's been in the game. He's been on the bad teams, the really bad teams, finally got onto a good team, and then a great team, and then he gets hurt, and then he can't finish out the series. It is so gut-wrenching for me, for me to have watched that and witnessed that, and it was just the worst thing for me, because literally, the fact of the matter is, they probably win that series. They were out playing the Warriors, and this isn't just the Warriors. We're talking prime Kevin Durant Warriors, and it was just the worst feeling for me when I saw that. Chris Paul is a legend, and, and he would have gotten not only gotten a ring, but gotten a win over one of the greatest basketball teams ever assembled. And if you don't think it's one of the best basketball teams ever assembled, you're, ju you're just wrong on that standpoint. They had Kevin Durant, Steph Curry, Klay Thompson, and Draymond Green as the fourth best player on the team. Draymond Green at the time, an exceptional player. So those are the two for me that really that really stand out. And I look at it and I just go, that's that's just really tough that he that he couldn't win a title with either of those two. And either of those would have changed the entire landscape of the NBA. 
if Chris Paul would have gone to play with Kobe, they're probably considered the greatest backcourt to ever play basketball. If Chris Paul doesn't get hurt, he's literally changed how basketball is played with Daryl Morey and James Harden and Trevor Reza and P.J. Tucker and all the dudes on that team, Clint Capella included. They're all just included in that, and it's just something to really think about and give a new light to.